Election day is July the 15th, the two states, an open primary. This race will be decided for the general election in this primary, so if you're interested in this race, you'll want to pick a Democratic ballot. Uh, also, you can start early voting over on Memorial Drive as early as the 8th of July. As crime is one of the heaviest issues weighing on the minds of voters in DeKalb County, I'm going to start with that question. Police Chief Terrell Bolton has put forth a roadmap to success plan for the DeKalb County Police Department, which does have a $100 million price tag if implemented. Do you support the plan, and if so, how do you intend to pay for it? I'm glad that question was asked, because my campaign is not, there's nothing more important than me to get the group on plan. The way Mr. Bolton sees things, I think Mr. Bolton is wrong, and this is why I think Mr. Bolton is wrong. Mr. Bolton want to approach this by putting a policeman on every corner. Now, on my platform, I can put a thousand policemen out there, but what we're going to have to do if we're going to address crime, we're going to have to get the public involved. The police going to have to see the public different, and the public going to have to see the police different. And there's going to have to be a spirit of cooperation. Now, if we don't, if we don't achieve this, our communities will never be safe. I'll take a lot of heat from the black community by saying this, but it's only 15 folks out of every 100 that support the police. And they say, don't mention this when the audience is mixed. I'm going to mention it because we need to discuss it. Down to the years, the police always been in the blacks' face and beat the blacks, and the blacks don't support the police. And if we want to keep our every desire, if we don't want the robberies and the burglaries and the crimes and the vacant buildings, we're going to have to confront this issue. My campaign <coughs> is all about confronting this issue. Is my time? We got 30 seconds. It's nothing more important in this race than to confront crime. Now, I have seen my colleagues modify these stands, and they've stolen a lot of my material. I don't mind, but don't think I'm worried about it. What's going to happen when I'm not around for them to steal my material? Thank you so much. Well, thank you for that question. Uh, I do support uh, Chief Bolton's uh, uh, ICP program. And in fact, I'm the only candidate in this race who has a platform for public safety, a four-point platform. We have it listed on our website at www.borowellis.com. We've handed several copies of it out tonight. Not only does it support that program, but it also enhances it. We'll create an Office of Neighborhood Empowerment to work on the community level, and we'll reinvigorate the Neighborhood Watch Program to that Office of Neighborhood Empowerment, working with police officers. I propose the down payment program where we'll work with the private sector to raise $1.5 million to make money available for down payments for up to 200 police officers. Why? To bring them closer to the community where they'll actually serve the people. That enhances the ICP program. We're going to have to make some tough decisions on an annual basis, but there'll be no higher priority than public safety in a Borough Ellis administration. You've got my word on that. We're going to have to, how will we get the money? We're going to cut waste. $17 million in overspending in the current administration, it'll be cut. There won't be any overspending or circumvention of policies in a Borough Ellis administration. We'll stop unfunded mandates. I'll use my relationships in Washington, D.C. as a county commissioner working with other counties throughout the United States to make sure that we stop the federal government from shifting costs to DeKalb County. I probably only have a second or two left, but when I get a chance, I'll tell you how we can do that. We'll run a much more efficient, honest, effective government that focuses on results. Thank you. Indeed, I do support Chief Terrell Bowden's uh, roadmap to success. I have supported from the very beginning. This has not changed. I supported when Chief Bolton presented the Board of Commissioners and the CEO with this plan, which is about that thick. I've read that plan, I've studied that plan, and importantly, in working with our police department, I understand how we can fund that plan. Day to day, I have the responsibility for helping to oversee that budget and knowing what's in there. Now, because of these tough economic times in which we all are participating in, we have to know that not everything can be funded at one time. It is going to be funded in phases, in the manner in which it's begun already. Just uh, Tuesday, they were able to get the uh, paddy wagons funded, which will help us in two ways. One, we have a lot of gasoline costs right now. As a result of that, the budget is going to hit an impact this year of $3.1 million for the county because of rising fuel costs. 
By having the paddy wagons, we eliminate the, the police cars going back and forth between the recorder's court and the jail. As a result, we have one vehicle and we get that done. You fund Chief Bolton's plan in phases. You don't fight with the police chief in public. You don't let the criminals think they're winning because you have commissioners and the chief fighting in public about some issues that deal with crime. The one point plan is to hire the best and the brightest. And we've hired a police chief and we have to work with a police chief no matter what our personal differences are. Thank you. Thank you for the question, and I believe the question was, do you support his plan and how will we fund it? First and foremost, the role of government, whether it's federal, state, or local, is to make sure that you have a strong defense. We will not have economic development in DeKalb County, nor will we have the safe communities that our seniors and our children and the grandchildren deserve unless we have a safe community. So yes, indeed, we do support uh, the Chief's, uh, his plan. How will we fund it. We will fund it as it's being funded now through the budget, making certain that crime prevention, that public safety is a priority. We must invest, ladies and gentlemen, in human capital. It has to be done. And let me also say the best way to fight crime or uh, to fight crime is to prevent it. And how do we do that? We also partner, ladies and gentlemen, with our faith community, with our judiciary, uh, with the sheriff's department, in some of the programs that we have have um, in our educational institutions, such as the Gateway Program with Georgia Perimeter College, DeKalb Tech has a dropout recovery program. These are things that we need to do on the front end, but we will say in no uncertain terms in DeKalb County that if you're one of the bad actors who wants to prey on our seniors, our children, you will have a room reserved for you at 285 and Memorial Drive, and we'll leave the light on for you. 